Soybean sales were down 28% from the previous week, and that pushed soybeans back down again on Thursday. Michelle Rook is back to see if beans will end the week on a more positive note in markets now. Grain markets on Thursday closed mostly lower except for we with a higher day in livestock. Vince Boddicker, Farmers Trading Company, is with us. And then soybeans, a pretty good setback was that profit taking or the soybean basis levels dropping in Brazil. I think it's a combination of those soybean basis dropping and people saying, well, basis is dropping. Maybe the crop isn't that tight. You put on top of that, their price being over two bucks cheaper a bushel than we are at current times. And also that forecast this morning uh, changed yesterday. You had Argentina hot and dry for the next two weeks. This morning, it was only for the next seven days. All of that puts a little negative twist in the other side of it, right around two fifty or excuse me, 1250 to 1252. We should have had some resistance and we got close, I think, for a few days and couldn't get through. So you probably had some longs, you know, putting some cash in the pocket and seeing what happens. Absolutely. And so then did corn just follow or did it hit, did hit resistance too? I think corn is a follower. It was nice yesterday that we closed over 251 and I think they held fairly well, but it was that tug of war between wheat being higher and beans being lower. And again, 250 area, 256 is going to be a 20 period moving average might be tough to get through that. So some of that bought last week may have said, let's put a little in the bank and see what the weekend does. And the cattle market had a nice day on Thursday, kind of pushed by the cash. That's what we've talked to, uh, you know, the way it sparked up around noon. We did visit with some clients uh, after the close. They were bid uh, 177 in the north and some talk that it may take 180 to get some bought because they weren't getting any bought. So a nice spark in there. Hopefully we can keep it going. Yeah, and we had new highs for the move, not only in cattle, but in the hog market. So what's pushing the hogs right now? I think part of it is technical and still think looking ahead that numbers are going to get tighter. Exports haven't been too bad. And if we looked at the cold storage report on both pork and beef uh, yesterday, uh, on, on uh, Tuesday, I should, or Wednesday, I should say, they were actually pretty good in there, uh, down compared to a year ago and down compared to the five year. All right, thanks for joining us. Vince Boddicker, Farmers Trading Company, we'll have more update coming up.